Yo, what's happening? This is Len Davis with Pangeality Productions. I'm a uh, Seattle-based filmmaker, but I'm at the moment here in Kathmandu, Nepal. Uh, I first came here about 18 years ago as a student, and I've been returning ever since. Uh, in 1998, I was living in Kathmandu, and I was working with an American tourism company. And that's when my friendship with my brother, Hom Bahadur, right here, Hom Dai, started. And uh, at that time, I was bringing groups around Kathmandu in different capacities, uh, kind of going outside of the realm of uh, the standard tourism and groups uh, and uh, setting up dinner parties, uh, bringing in different artists and historians and people to kind of lecture at dinner, as well as we were going around the city visiting various artisans and not just going in and getting a little quick demo and buying stuff, but really engaging various artists. And at that time, Home and I became friends and we've been connected ever since. And he also has a singing bowl uh, workshop and uh, store, uh, storefront here and I wanted to give you a sense of what's going on here because it's my hope that people around the world who own small shops and bookstores and other types of establishments that might be interested in selling or already are selling singing bowls and these types of Nepali goods uh, that you would potentially be able to learn about this particular store and home's business and do some wholesale business with him. So that's my motivation here, to help him out and to grow this business and connect like-minded folks uh, with a solid product. So Nissan here is going to give us a little demo and talk about the bowls. Namaste, Home Day. Namaste. How are you? Namaste. Fine, thank you. Thank Great. You. So we're here in your war uh, your store. Uh, we're going to talk about singing bowls. Hi, na? Yes. And Nissan is going to show us about how people use the bowls in healing yes. and some of the different tonal sounds and talk a little bit about the different prices and take it away. Nissan, can you tell me a little bit about these kinds of bowls? Okay. Namaste. Namaste. I'm Nissan and we are at the Healing Bowl Center at Bodo. So I'm going to give some information about the bowls. Okay. okay. So we can see over here, we have different size of bowls. Mm -hmm. uh, these are the healing bowls. Uh, it's made of seven different metals. And from which we do the different purpose like uh, uh, meditation, like healing therapy, mm -hmm. okay, body therapy. So uh, it has a very good vibration okay, that we put in our body and just give the bang and the vibration slowly goes to our body and gives very relaxed to our body. Uh -huh. And also it moves different diseases like a headache, migraine, like back pain, knee pain, okay? okay? So when someone has the pain in their body, let's say a headache or knee pain, yes. how are they using the bowl in the healing process? Okay, we put the bowl in our head, like this way, uh -huh. okay? And we just close the eyes and just just give the beat like this. Like this way and the vibration and the sound slowly goes. Mm -hmm. And we can feel the vibration and the sound and that gives very good relax nice and so how would you do that like how long would you do that for just we do at the like uh five minutes five to six minutes okay in a uh, morning time and evening time and then if it was a different part of your body that was aching how would you use it on your knee yeah, just uh, for example uh, we can do it in our knee we can do it our ourselves like we can sit like this way in the chair and uh, we just put the ball and we do like this way okay also, I will show okay. you. Okay. An example? Yeah. One time. Put the ball, the knees. Between the knees? Yes. Wow. Otherwise, we can put like one by one. Okay. Show also. me. And the vibration is slowly. How does okay. that feel, huh? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> good. Okay. And so maybe. Uh, you can do the head. Wako Yeah. So, this would be a demonstration of someone doing it to another person. Hmm. Okay. So, can you tell me a little bit about the bowls? How are they made? How is this uh, a bowl like this transformed from raw material into a singing yeah, bowl? A singing yeah, bowl? this kind of bowl are made of seven different metals, included little bit gold, silver, mercury, and the tin, lead, zinc, and iron. Okay, and they melt the all the, the uh, combine the, all the metals and they they melt down and then they dry dry, and when the metals dry, they start to be banging, and then makes this shape. Like this shape, nice. balls. Okay. 
And so can you show me some different variety of bowls, maybe some different yeah, sounds, some different sizes, different styles? And actually these are the bowls are made of related to our seven chakra. You can see over here there is like a position of the Buddha and the, there's the seven different chakras are shown. And those balls are related to those chakras, okay? So for a different example, this is the ball for forehead. Okay. Okay. This is the A chakra related to forehead, and it has a different sound. So different ball, different sounds, which are related to our body. Okay. Can you show me some balls that are related to different chakras? Yes. For example, this is for heart. Heart chakra. Yes. Ah, very different sound. Very different sound. And so, can you explain that, like how uh, the sound is different? What does it mean to say that the different bowls are connected to different chakras? Can you explain that? Different chakra? Yeah, is there like one tone is associated with stimulating a different part of the body? Uh, for example, in third chakra, you have a uh, which you can see there, which is different, uh, like Y. Yes. That's mean, uh, that's G. G chakra is blue color has been brought in the third chakra. Yeah. Buzi? For, uh, th uh, th th for thyroid. Okay. Thyroid. Thyroid. Uh -huh. And green, uh, the blue means the uh, element sky. Okay. And tones, the stone, uh, semi precious stone. And green, and heart, heart chakra. Like green color, this is mean in hard connection with uh, air, you know, air, air, and that's uh, and the uh, uh, chakra is yap. When is a uh, yap chakra connection and put in heart, and then it's. Uh, the How do you stimulate the heart? Can you show me a, a heart one and slide down and then put in laying down, laying down and put in okay. seven. Show me. Yeah. Where was I? Thank you, Hyundai. And so, can you show me some of the other bowls? Give me some different sounds. Show me some. Which are some of the best bowls that you have, quality-wise, in terms of workmanship and sound and uh, vibration? Yeah, actually, here in, we have the different size and different colors, like with the carving, with uh, without carving. Uh -huh. like show me some play. without without carving. Like some really nice ones. Very good. good size and, and which good size for head to foot. Okay, we can use every part of our Chakra. body. G. G. Throat. Throat. So it's my understanding that within the spectrum they offer here, the kind of low end is in the twenty-five dollar range, and they've got bowls all the way up to eight hundred dollars. Uh, those are U.S. prices. Right now, there's about 100, US dollar, uh, 100 rupees to the U.S. dollar. So if you're buying in bulk or wholesale, obviously the prices become negotiable down the more pieces you buy. Uh, but they are also selling individual pieces here as well. Um, you, uh, yeah, so keep telling me, Nissan. Yes. So I'm telling that uh, with this size of bowl, we can use every part of our body. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, like... Uh, Except the bowl, like this size, except here we can use other part of our body. Uh -huh. Also be, because it also gives a very good vibration. But uh, like this size, we can't use in our body because it has a less vibration. Uh -huh. And only we use for the sound, for meditation. Mm. Okay, It has a, uh, like a efficiency, like a vibration is low. Mm -hmm. It's very less. Nice. Okay? And in the bowl, we can also use the bowl. What are the, what are the big bowls for? The big bowl, we actually we put the uh, different bowls 
and we like around, okay? Uh -huh. And uh, in the middle we lie down and just bang the ball. Uh -huh. that heals our body when we lie down in the center. Nice. And also we put the ball, uh, balls in our body and just... Nissan, is there anything, uh, this is what I wanted was an introduction to give people a sense of if they were interested <clears throat> in the bowls, they'd have a sense of who they're buying them from. So that when they watch this video online, they're seeing your face and they know that you are directly supporting a number of different workers in your workshops where you're producing bowls and uh, people painting tankas and weaving and other things. Uh, is there anything else that you'd like to tell people home if they want to, if they're interested in buying from you wholesale online? You have bowls and many other things, yeah? Yes, yes. Unsa? Unsa. <laughs> Nissan, is there anything else in this video that we should include about the general uh, information about uh, the bowls if people are interested? Yeah, these are the very good, uh, good things that you can, if you really wish, if you really want, then these, these are the very, very useful things that uh, you can, if you wish, then you can, mm -hmm. uh, you can buy, you can get the balls and you can get the info information you can get the experience so that's it does it take any skill or experience to be able to do this properly yeah yeah if if they try if they, if they when they uh, buy the balls then they can try and they can get the experience they can get the like okay can you show me the difference between like the gong style and the rubbing yes which is oh, uh, like this and so the vibration You can use the water and you can make ground and the water start to bubbles because of the vibration. In the same way, the ball, ball, ball shows that same way it works in our body. Because our body also contains more than 70% of water. So it does work the same way in our body. So you're saying that when you are having the vibration close to your body, yes. you think the water inside your body is doing a similar... Yes, similar. Ooh, what, effect, also, what effect does that have? <laughs> like uh, for the blood circulation also, it's very good. Like our vein problem, okay, uh, blockage, uh, vein blockage of like different diseases, it heals and it, it will cure. And also it is very good for our eyes also. Okay. So for people who are using computers a lot? Computer for a long time or many many dots okay, uh, like enter in our eyes may occur different problems in our eyes so at that time if we make like this way and if we concentrate in the water like this way that is very good for our eyes. Oh yeah, it's like exercise? Yes, exercise. Eyes exercise, yes, you wow. are right. Nice. Yeah. Alright, cool. Nissan, is there anything else that you'd like to share here? You have a very a huge variety of bowls, right? Yes. In terms of quality and yes. sound and tonal. Great. Thank you so much for sharing that. Beautiful. Sweet. So fresh. Really sweet to see and to learn about these bowls. I myself don't know very much, but I'm pretty... I mean, just to see the water vibrating like that is pretty amazing and think uh, how that might be affecting us internally when we're really focusing in on the, uh, on the vibration and stand positive. It's Len Davis with Pangeality Productions. I'm here at Bodhanath Stupa in Kathmandu, Nepal, uh, probably the main center of the Tibetan community here in this country. And uh, I'm in this healing bowl shop with my main man home, Bahadur Tamang, and his assistant, Nisan. And uh, I'm going to keep his website below and in the description. And if you're interested in purchasing wholesale and or individual bowls, you can contact him through that contact information and he will help to meet your needs within your price range or whichever part of healing that you're interested in or <clears throat> quality, all of the above. So hit him up. Stay fresh.